Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the Huawei Honor 3C. We have the device with, with us as you can see and this is how the package looks like. However, this is not the exact package which you will get in India. The Indian package will be slightly different whereas this one is imported from China. So this one is looking slightly different and you have Chinese written over there at the back side as well. So this device has a 5 inch display, 4.2 Android, Emotion UI 2.0 and you have 3G supported, Bluetooth 4.0 is there, assisted GPS is there, 2300 mAh battery is there and then it is based on the MediaTek 6582 chipset, 1.3 GHz quad core CPU you have on this device and Mali 400 MP2 GPU you also have on this device so this is how it looks like, let's open the package and see what we have inside so this is the first thing which we get inside, this is the Huawei Honor 3C uh, which looks a decent device I would say in terms of the display, the display is something which I really like because the color protection of the display is better. I have been using this device for more than a week now. So I'm doing this unboxing for you. This is how the device looks like. You do have some button finished in chrome over here. And these are plastic buttons. They give you a good amount of feedback. On the top, you have a 3.5mm audio jack. You have a camera over here at the back side which is an 8 megapixel camera and the secondary camera on the front is a 5 megapixel camera you do have some proximity and embed light sensors over there you have the nice metallic earpiece below the glass you have touch capacity buttons which are there on the body of the phone and again they will not lit up because you do not have LED uh, below these buttons so this is something I would like to tell you and at the back side we can see that the back cover is removable and it is shiny and glossy in nature so it will attract a lot of fingerprints and over here you have the loudspeaker mesh which is kind of a small but loudspeaker is fairly loud on this device but not too loud at the bottom you have the micro keyboard for data syncing and charging you have a primary microphone over here and let me just remove the back cover so that I can show you the phone from the back side so in order to remove the back cover you need to maybe insert your fingernail and then remove this thing and once you remove the back cover you can see the battery over here which is a 2300 mAh battery which should be good enough and again in my usage it was kind of okay in terms of uh, you can say the overall backup uh, as per my usage it was used to give me around more than one day of battery backup from this device which I used to get you do have two sim card slots both of them will accept micro sim not normal size sim card you have a micro SD card slot as well to insert into it and then you can expand the storage of this device with the help of micro SD memory card when we take a look over the front uh, the overall build quality of this device is good enough uh, it is made up of good quality of plastic however uh, the back cover is again something uh, if, could, if it could have been matte finish then it could have looked better in terms of the overall look and feel and the material which has been used it looks good and it looks solid as well it does not look like a cheap phone so good build quality I would say let's take a look over the package contents before we come back to the phone again so this is how the package looks like once you go inside you have the quick start guide over there you have uh, warranty information I guess and then you have the micro USB to USB cable and you get this charger a small charger and this charger which we get within the package of this phone it is it is a 1 ampere charger as you can see and it is US type so again you will need an adapter in case you get this one however I think the Indian version will have an Indian pin charger uh, because this is an imported unit so this one does not have that kind of specification and when it comes to the headphones I do not see headphones within the package of this phone so you might need to additionally buy those headphones this device is already available in the market for a price of approximately 15,000 rupees on Flipkart so you can go ahead and buy it in case you want to so this is how it looks like and once we unlock the phone the UI is there it is a custom UI which is running on top of Android which is the Emotion UI 2.0 and the UI is fast enough there is no lag which I can notice however there is no application drawer which is something which I really really hate about this UI the Emotion UI because it does not have the application drawer all the application which you keep on installing they will keep on adding on your home screen automatically you can't do anything about it let's take a look over the notification center notification center is again customized and again one thing which I notice on the Emotion UI is that they have optimized this UI to run on this hardware quite smoothly there is no lag which I can notice and again during my usage as well I did not notice any lag you do have all the toggles over here you can control the brightness you do have support for automatic brightness as well let's go into settings under settings we can show you the version of Android so version of Android which is there on this device is 4.2.2 as you can see and once we come out from this I can show you the storage department 
so let's take a look over the storage now so on the storage front this device has 8 GB of internal storage and out of which approximately 5.48 GB is available to the user which is good enough and internal storage is something which is a good feature of this device because it has more internal storage as compared to other phones which are there in the market for the same price and you can also change the default write disk that means you can install application from the FT card so once you insert an FT card in case the storage is running low on this device you can always install the applications on the FT card which is definitely a good thing you do have a uh, power saving application as well which will allow you to save the power and you, you will get more battery backup I have used the smart mode uh, quite frequently and it has given me good amount of battery backup from this device more than one day of battery backup is something which you can easily get from this device uh, depending on your storage uh, on your usage again but you can get more than one day of battery backup you also have the option of creating a portable Wi-Fi hotspot so you can create that from this phone that is also all also possible and when we talk about DTS effect you do have that supported so DTS sound is there supported on this device you also have a do not disturb mode there are quite few number of applications and settings which will allow you to customize the overall behavior of the phone as per your usage you do have protected application area over here where you can actually specify which app should be protected so that you, either you use a password or unless you have rights you cannot run those application and you do have the manage application over here as well and let me just show you the current status for the RAM so the RAM on this device is 2 GB which is fairly good and this is something which I really like about this device because 2 GB of RAM on a device like this with this much of uh, uh, price is something which many of the users appreciate and I do uh, I, and I also do appreciate that so 2 GB of RAM is something which will make this device running smoothly most of the time and out of 2 GB approximately 551 MB of RAM is only used whereas 1.4 GB of RAM is free so fairly good for applications and games in case you would like to install high definition games you will be able to install them as well as you will be able to install them on the SD card and you can run them smoothly because of good amount of free RAM which is available you also have notification manager which will allow you to specify which application should give you the notification alerts and which should not you can uncheck that as well and you do have location services access that means you can use this device for GPS navigation and you just need to check this option for that and you can also go to assisted GPS settings and configure more options but once you check this option it will start uh, it will be you able to use GPS signals and you can use this device for GPS navigation with the help of assisted GPS and when it comes to sound settings you do have sound settings over here as well which is not something which is extra uh, you have all the regular sound settings you can disable vibrate on touch or touch sound over here all you can do from this device and you can also change the home screen style so this is how the home screen style look like for the normal user and in case uh, anyone who uh, for which you are buying the phone if they have not used a smartphone and it is difficult for them to actually understand these icons and these text is kind of difficult to read especially for poor for uh, elder people out there so in that case you can always use the simple mode so you can enable simple mode from here and click apply and we will be done so you have a easy just like the easy mode which you might have seen on the samsung phone you have home style home screen style uh, in which you can change the screen style all this will make things easy for many people out there who are not used to smartphones till now so this is how the phone dialer look like and as you can see the phone dialer is again not stock android it is custom everything is custom on this device so nothing is stock android and you can send a message to the uh, to the number directly from here however you do not have the option of uh, doing a video call but you do have a hint harassment filter that means you can actually block numbers from from which you don't want to receive voice calls or video calls whatever it is you can block those numbers as well and let's take a look over the messaging application this is how it look like messaging application is again not stock android it is a custom messaging application and when it comes to swipe to type you do have that supported which is a good thing so typing on this device will not be an issue it does give you the suggestions as well and it is a qwerty keyboard at your disposal you have swipe keyboard Default and when it comes to typing like this it is not difficult it is a 5 inch display uh, a high definition display and let me talk about the display now so when it comes to the display the display is an IPS panel and it is a 720p display you will not notice any pixelation on this device the font and text is nicely optimized so you will not notice pixelation even when you read documents 
uh, with good amount of text uh, not huge amount of text with good amount of text then you will not notice any pixelation you do have a file manager over here as well which will help you to navigate files and when it comes to OTG support we will ch just check that when it comes to extra application which will come preferred you have Kingsoft Office which will come preferred but there is no uh, not much of a blockware which will come preferred you also have some widgets over here for the time location and other things as well and when it comes to the other widgets let me just show you that so once you tap and hold over the home screen you can see that you can change the animations of the home screen you can change the thumbnail you can go to the simple home or you can edit the home screen as well and here you have the widgets so once you into go into widgets we do have some regular widgets which are there normally on any android phone there is no custom widgets which i can see designed specifically for this device apart from this one which is already there on the home screen so this is how it looks like and if we take a look over the browser this is how the browser look like we do not have internet connectivity as of now but we have tested the browser the browser is responsive and there is no problem while browsing on this device as well using the stock android browser however you can always go for the google chrome in case you want to you can also customize the look and feel of the device by going to the theme application which we just did and these are the current applications or the current themes which will come preferred you can change the look and feel of the device but by just tapping over there and you have these very nice looking themes which will also change the icons so iconography will also change once you apply a new theme and this will give you a very new look and feel over the device so the device will look very good and premium i would say and again the ui of the device is very nicely optimized so there is no lag of any kind even when you apply these things so here we have the camera ui and the camera ui is again slightly optimized it is not the stock one and when we toggle to the front camera this is how the front camera quality will look like and again i would say the front camera quality is pretty decent you can do a good quality of video chat not in high definition video chat but pretty good but the feed is kind of hazy so you need to hold the device stable in order to do a video chat let me just go back to the rear camera and i can show you the settings for the camera before i shoot the picture so 8 megapixel revolution is there for the camera and when it comes to video mode you can shoot high definition video at 1080p as well from the rear camera as well as at 720p video you can shoot the video and both of these will be recorded at 16 to 9 expect ratio and stereo will be the sound quality so which is good let me just turn uh, let me just uh, show you some other settings so we have some extra settings over here which includes an hdr mode panorama mode is there beautification mode is also there you do have effect mode in which you can change and you have a meter mode as well so all this you can do a uh, smart mode is something which will take the photo smarter i would say uh, uh, as per they say basically and smarter means that it will do the autofocus and it will take the photos nicely it will do some modification on the photos in case it is a dark scenario so i will take the another photo from this device again without artificial light and let me just take this photo so i've taken both of these photos and let me just show you both of them so this one is not uh, showing good amount of details which is something i can see and whereas this one is showing good amount of details and the color prediction is good enough as well and i can take the photo again uh, especially the one without light i can take this photo again so that it focus i think last time it was not focused so i've taken this photo again i can show you this one now so this one has been taken without light but this time it has focused so good amount of details are there and again the camera quality is pretty decent uh, i would say even in low light and in artificial light it is looking good in details as well as in color prediction uh, whereas the daylight performance of this device is much better so in all this is a decent device we will come up with a full review of this device very soon that's all from us as far as the quick review of the huawei honor 3c device this is a pretty decent device pretty good value for money i would say considering the hardware specification you are getting the software ui is smoother there is no problem with the browsing the battery backup of this device is around one day this device does heat up slightly uh, over here but again it is not too much in terms of the heat you can play high definition games as well you, and when it comes to the benchmark score this has performed pretty well so we will show you the benchmark score and the gaming thing in the rest in the other video this is all we have as far as the quick review of the Huawei Honor 3C. Do let me know if you have any specific question for this device. I would love to help you. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.